Good morning. Have you come here to watch me draw? You are a pretty one, aren't you? Forgive my boldness. I don't see your kind here often. You are one of the Fae? You did book in with reception, didn't you? You didn't just come here straight from the forest. Oh, thank goodness. Your dust has been neutralised. That dust you are covered in triggers extreme hallucinations for our kind and humans alike. I understand that it's very useful for predators, but although I can shapeshift and fly, I don't want to think that I can fly before I've actually shapeshifted. I have plans this evening, and I don't wish to spend it with you attending my bedside in the infirmary whilst I heal from stepping out of an upstairs window. Don't laugh, I've done it before. Since you're dusted, you can sit close. I'm working on a background piece. Don't mind the camera attached to the desk here. They are for the people who are watching over me on YouTube. See, they're watching us right now. Earlier I spent a number of hours filming some of my fountain pen inks being dropped into water. I filmed it about four times and each time the water became saturated with ink. I added bleach to the water to slowly strip out the colour again. I used over a bottle's worth of kiwi fountain pen ink, which probably cost about £20. I have no idea how much that equates to in your currency. Expensive for a one-off background, you might think, but I did enjoy experimenting. I felt like I belonged to the House of Magic, making potions. The most difficult bit was finding a glass container which was big enough and just clear enough to give a little bit of extra character and warp when the ink flowed. I also had to make a box out of black paper with a small hole cut out of it for the camera so it wasn't reflected in the glass. I then took some time rearranging my blackout blinds just to get the perfect amount of light filtered into the room. Trying to create some interesting backgrounds for my YouTube watchers. As I am a vampire, I can't just film myself, as my reflection can sometimes go weirdly transparent. My hands appear fine on film, but the rest of me sometimes goes translucent. It is a pain. We once thought that the reason our reflection couldn't be seen was due to there being silver backing on mirrors, and you know there are traces of silver in x-rays and film and silver bounces our reflection back weirdly. But that doesn't explain why we sometimes go transparent digitally, as there is only about 0.34 grams of silver in my mobile phone. It makes no sense. As I can shapeshift, I have turned myself into a VTube avatar, but unfortunately, I haven't completed the transformation yet. I need to research rigging, so I can only communicate telepathically in that form at the moment. I just basically blink and smile. Humans say that pure metals are poisons to vampire because they don't like the idea of us being around anything pure. Around the world, different vampires are sensitive to different metals. As you can see by my necklace, silver is not a poison to me, but it is to some. I will admit that if I were any other metal other than gold or silver or platinum in my ears, oh my goodness, they become so sore and swollen. So yes, other metals are a problem for me, especially iron. Why would anybody put alloys into earrings anyway? Bab and she used to be so sensitive to iron that we had to use bronze horseshoes on our horses till they started making steel horseshoes back in 1835. We used to nail the iron horseshoes to our back doors to keep nosy vampire neighbours away. Thank goodness they created synthetic ones in 1990. Poor horses can overdose on iron. They don't like it either. I do love horses. And very large dogs. Anyway, back to drawing. You can see that I've just taken a snapshot of myself for the foreground while I work on some of the background elements which will tie in to the video of inks I've created. As the ink was bright red, I thought I'd draw red blood cells. I just needed to draw a few cells 
drop the transparency and then multiply the layers and skew them to fill the spaces I desired. Yummy. Why don't you sketch too while I'm sketching? Here's some paper. Why don't you draw two? You can pick any of those fountain pens that you like. That one's particularly nice there. <laughs> I'll put you up. You can sit next to me here at the table. tribe of the bay are you from? Your wings. The pattern on your wings doesn't look familiar, but they do shimmer delightfully. <laughs> look at me, getting all flustered by the sight of you. <laughs> so charming. jewels that you've used to tie up each strand. I should stop looking at you. <laughs> I might make you feel uncomfortable. No? You like me looking at you? That's strange. We have something very much in common. I like
please like and subscribe for more.